Tune in to www.oghuskyradio.com. Soulsiders.com. Takeover, man. They they brought us graph artists. They brought us, like, some history, some LA history. Like, who's been rocking. They brought us dope-ass DJs. Can't even front. Go on Soulsiders.com. Buy everything. Everything. <laughs> Go ahead and introduce yourselves individually, man. What's up, man? Furo, UTI, BLA, DCV crew, Los Angeles, you know, old school B-boy right here. Severe One, West Coast artist, and RHD, Real Heads Destro- Destroy right here. Man, Severe or Sev, man? Which is it, man? I go by Sev, but for the people that used to know S-E-V-E-R-E. So, so what happens? Like Prince, you change the name to a symbol? Or yeah, artist formerly known as. Right there. <laughs> how, how, how did that come about, though? Everybody what? called me Sev, and, you know, like it was just a different time. I like doing the pieces, S-E-V, not the whole word, the whole name. Too long, too many cans of paint. The connection here is basically we have two artists. Uh, Firo, you could peep the archives, dig deep, 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 and you could catch everything about this cat. Been holding down hip hop. Uh, th- Honored to have Seven here, you know what I mean, with him. Appreciate with it. some history. Um, but both of these artists, are, um, I want you guys to discuss what you guys are doing with Soul Siders and what Soul Siders is from what you guys know, because you know what I mean, like just that connection, how it comes about. Word, well, uh, shit, man, Soul Siders is my family, you know, uh, all homeboys that I grew up with in hip hop culture, doing graffiti art. I was, uh, in a crew, DCV, I was affiliated with their crew, VOB. And so, you know, we grew up together. We do this art. It's a lifestyle, uh, uh, a lifestyle product. You know, they're doing, uh, their, their, their clothing and I'm helping them out. I'm doing some graffiti designs for them and stuff. So, you know, it's all in the family. It's all fresh. How about for yourself, Seth? Well, I've known Dress for a long time, uh, since when Third Rail, uh, Third Rail was a new clothing line. That so Third Rail, what year are we it's talking about? Day, like Third Rail, man. 90? 90. Yeah, 90. Yeah. And, you know, to me, it's just what I've seen him do with his thing, and I haven't seen him in a minute. We got to talk, and he's doing a really cool thing. You know, it's like good soul music. He's like a re- you know record collecting. I mean, it's everything that I remember, like golden era, as they call it now. Yeah. Hip hop should be, and is to me. You know what I mean? And we're just working on some prod products uh, and some projects that are have to do with kind of just old school soul graph. Not really trying to get too technical, you know, anything like that. Just stuff that has flow and just has a little style to it. You know, so, so still like readable for you know, yourself. Like, like uh, how many, how much, w- how many logos? Let's just start with that. Or how many designs would you turn in? Or how does it work? I mean, because you guys are homies, you know what I mean? Or like iPhone, how does that work? iPhone photos after a, a pencil sketch. <laughs> so I don't have to waste my time. Yes, man. no <laughs> ink. Yeah, that's pretty much two it. color, I mean, three color. What do you talk what about? Are you what he wants to do, show? you know, like if you want to do the whole name out, or just like so for you know, I can't talk about it, but you know, we just keep it simple like that. And yeah. then, you know, it's a, it's an easy process. It's just friends talking. You know what I mean? Soulsiders.com, like I said, with that. Um, so then I gotta ask you, uh, where do you know Firo from, then, man? Firo? Yeah. I just met this cat. Yeah, serious? Yeah, Me but too. I mean, I've seen his, I've seen his stuff all around. And I was like. <laughs> Wow, I got, you know, it's like funny because you never you get so many times in a tunnel in a graffiti yard or whatever and you don't run into people. Then you run into them later and meet them later in life. Sometimes you know them then and you never see them again. That's weird how graffiti is, like always transitioning, cruising in and out, people on their own. and Or people that come and gone or like exactly. that. Exactly. They die too young. And, I, and vice versa. I mean, I've seen his stuff way back in the day, you know. and. Uh, but I'm from the south side of Los Angeles. He's from west side, so yeah. different parts of the area. But it's good to meet him. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have a subway transit Maybe yet. we're going to have yeah, to do it. So if we had that in the 90s, it would have been a whole different story. So, like so let's get, what, what, what did we have in the 90s, man? Let, let's break it down because, man, what, what, what are we looking at like paint now? And Blue bus, number seven <laughs> up Pico, go to West Coast Tracks. <laughs> RTD, probably this guy's run right here. <laughs> let's, let's, start, let's start with paint, man. <laughs> Oh, paint. Let's start yeah, with let's paint. Yeah, let's start with paint. Start so with you still, paint. I mean, you're OG, golden era, so you're still rocking Krylon, right? I got I got 100 cans of Krylon and 60 cans of Montana, and I use both because they all got different colors. But as this guy probably knows, Krylon hurts. 
hurts your finger. Explain that. What the fuck? I've, I've never used one in my life. Too much for pressure the in the can. Me. You know, they're anti-graffiti, so they didn't really get into the good color system. Like, Montana, they all That yellow, what was that? School bus yellow School bus water. yellow. That shit was water. Crown cheap bastards. It was like, <laughs> it was like, like 50% water. water in that motherfucker. <laughs> no, it was like, who do you think's buying your shit? It was shit? like yellow yoo That's why they went under. You know what? Fuck crying. That's why rest is taking all your Yeah. Yeah. Even <laughs> yeah, Rustolium sure. too. Rustolium trying to change the fucking tip. Get out of here, dog. Like, yeah. you know who's buying your shit on me? Don't try to. Run out I'm of not plugging Montana, but you know, they at least they design it for artists that are graph artists that like color and understand color. That's about it. There it is. It's man. a different thing. Back then, it was bus chasing and just quick pieces. And then if you're really good, you had a time at the Belmont. I never went there. Or no? West Coast. Where, where did you go then? Where West Coast go? tracks, Motor Yard, PCH. Which is a illegal spot, obviously, but people would hit it. Well, yeah, Venice Pavilion was my stomping grounds, and that's uh, pretty much it. Or just you know, sometimes Oakland, a couple trips to Oakland. Word up. TNG. Old my old crew was TNG, the Next Generation, or the Night Game, started okay. by uh, Vision West Coast, and uh, he's an old school Venice white boy, and <clears throat> just a VBWL cat, you know, Breakwater guys. Like, and so he's he got to be my friend, and we got to talking, and we made something new. So who, who, what was your first name? Oh, my first name? Because yeah. you already know. Dr. Shock. <laughs> <laughs> that was 12 years old, so what do you want? <laughs> no, I was laughing at something else, Doug. Something else. What, what got you into <laughs> grab, Doug? Spiro's like, man, why would you admit to that fool, Doug? <laughs> <laughs> why, you got one? You got one? Or what? What's yours, Spiro? My old school name was Glide. But Glide. that's because I was a, a B-boy. B-boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That yeah. makes Come on, sense. Homie. Come on. That makes you sense. You can't even front on that. It's Glide. Mine would have been Mop and Glow or some <laughs> shit. <I don't> know. <laughs> I can't break though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. What age we talk? What got you in a graph? Uh, I got in a graph at 11 or 12 years old. I saw graffiti all the time in Venice, like gang graffiti. And then I saw when I think it was Duster and someone else from New York hit the Venice oil refinery area when that used to be there. And I was like, what is this? And then I went to the boys' club in Santa Monica and I found subway art. And that was it. I couldn't put it down. Uh, ever, uh, ever since then, it was just letters in my head and the way it moved and the colors, you know? Why do you do it? I, like, like I was thinking, it was, it's kind of an addiction. Uh, it was kind of a way for you to, like, say your name, you know? It's all about the name and fame. And then it progressed into something less than that. But I just do it because I can't stop doing it, even if I'm just sketching or whatever. It is, you know, wherever I'm at, like, it's always coming out weird so there's no like there's no never gonna retire you know what i'm not even gonna use hands no more if i can't I, move but i mean like you know you don't want to you want to just do it once in a while you know like if you do how often do you find yourself now then a couple times a year if yeah. that but i paint all the time just not on walls you know how about for you you know how many uh i don't know if i could hold on hold on because i don't want to yeah we'll skip Firo on that one because <laughs> I don't want to. You know what I mean? Uh, th- all those are old trains, homie. Those trains from like '92. They still running? Yeah, yeah, they're still running. They're yeah, still I running. still do trains, man. Well. No, you don't. No, Ain't you no don't. shame <laughs> in my game. <laughs> those are from '92, dog. They're old. The last time I've been at a dope. train yard, I did fall asleep, but that's a different story. <laughs> oh, you gotta tell us that story. What's up? <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, you know, you get drunk in the daytime, but people want to go paint at night. You're already fucked up. <laughs> I get to the train yard and I fall asleep, man. I put my first outline up and it's Z's all the way through. What he's talking about is benching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's real benching, homie. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, Seb, you got to top that story then, dog. I mean, you got to. Come on, man. We need a story better than that one. What dog. kind of story? A story better than going to, you know, crashing out at the oh, train yard, Oh, man. oh, oh, oh. Well, uh, I got a gun pulled on me when I was painting once, and then he, the guy left, so that wasn't too bad. Could have shot. I mean, other than that, just getting chased by the cops, and then, you know, only got caught once, which is amazing. Yeah. And that's always, that's when you're young and you have adrenaline, you can scale fences in, like, two seconds, but... But the, the, then too that's the, part of the rush. The times have changed too, though, right? I mean, you know what I mean. Like back in the day, a cop would get you, whoop your ass, and like he ain't trying to, you know what I mean, write you a citation or actually like process you. He just 
looking to whoop your ass to have fun and yeah. like leave you in the you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Let's leave this white boy in East LA. <laughs> <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Hey, what's up, dog? You need a ride home? We got you, dog. <laughs> Hop in. Uh, you want you have money on some beer? Shit, you know? Like, but yeah. I mean, times have changed though. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and obviously, you guys benefited in some way from it. Um, one of the things would would you now knowing that things have changed? Would you tell kids now like, oh, this is life, or go into doing graph and shit? Even though I mean, the laws you know, and everything have changed. <clears throat> but I mean, yeah, if they're into it, you should promote it, but promote it the right way. I mean, I, you know, when I was painting last week in Santa Monica and 23rd and Broadway, I had a cop roll up and it was on his own. He wasn't with a partner. So I was like, OK, this is nothing. It's probably for the permit. But he was talking about starting a thing for, uh, you know, a continuation school that's already going to, like, get these kids out of the shit and get them into something better. You know what I mean? And he likes graffiti. He's a cop, a cop that likes graffiti, and his daughter likes graffiti, he said. So he's like, yeah, we're, you know, I want to work with you guys, and, like, I love what you're doing here. So it's like even they, you know, on the other side of, you know, the rules and laws of vandalism like to be part of it sometimes at least to get people interested in art. You know, and that's the that's the quickest way they're going to is street. street it's art. it's a I mean? trip, man, because um, I haven't been out there, but I have seen the photos on the Internet of what's on 23rd and Broadway. And it's yep. like some big shit. I like how you just say, oh, yeah, 23rd and Broadway. Like it's but w what's that collab and what's going on right there? And is it still is it done yet or when's it going to be done? It's not done. It's me and uh, Risk Abel did something on there. Um, this guy Nathan Ota, who used to write coups from West Coast, and he's a he's an illustrator now. Uh, Vial did a piece. Um, some other people, I think maybe Slick might come back and do something, but other than that, it's just us for now. It's it's completely different than it used to be. It used to be just graffiti pieces. They're gonna invite Firo next week, so I'll be right. <laughs> Firo's getting the front of it. Well, who who was rocking on the front of, on the front of it and. It, that spot had been rocking though for years and years, right? That's right. It's it was it's funny that's on 23rd because this year's is 23rd anniversary and now it's gone. It had been yeah. up since 90. Uh, it used to be me, Realm, Dan, Risk, Slick, Rev, and Dante, Cat from New York. So a couple crews represented on there, just friends, you know what I mean, and like. It lasted a long time and never really got dissed, and that's kind of amazing for L.A., you yeah, know? And sure. the sun got to it, and, you know, it's changed ownership. I'm just surprised and kind of happy that uh, no matter who's been there, they kept the building graph. Yeah. They didn't ever change it or paint over. This is now it's time. It's getting really old, so, yeah. Redo it. New thing. Um, w with being involved in murals, is there any gra is there any rules? Do you go by any rules, either one of you? In graph for their rules. Rules and graffiti? Not really. I mean, you know, hey man. I mean, we got we got the old school rules, of course, and everybody knows them. Uh, but I like to think the graffiti is just a, a freestyle expression, you know, that that you could do, you know, that you could just go up and express yourself however you want, you know. And I, I'm kind of one of those. I know a lot of there's a lot of old school diehard cats that are like, no, this is how it's got to be. But I'm old school and I'm new school because I've been in both realms, you know. Yeah. I've been with the old school cats and I've been painting with the new guys and I know how they feel about it. And I kind of been the middle somewhere. You know, I'm middle school. That's what I am. Uh, and uh, uh, graffiti, of course, it has its golden rules and everybody knows those. Of course. But outside of that, it's a free for all, man. You know, <laughs> it's graffiti. It's illegal, you know, first. I mean, yeah, street art and all this and that, but first it's illegal, and first you got to, uh, of course, obey the rules of hip hop, because the uh, obeys the, uh, the the rules of uh, hip hop are universal. But outside of that, just be yourself, do what you want, no rules, break it. How about you for you, Sam? Saying? I mean, it's a rebellious art form, so why put rules on it, you know? And some friends of mine like to see graph and galleries, and some friends of mine think it's the death of graffiti okay so where do you that's stand? a political i stand in the middle because i like to put my art in galleries if i can and some of the people i've heard say that it's kind of a contradiction because they do have stuff running in galleries or in an art show and it's graffiti related but it's not just true graffiti and i understand why they do that and i understand why they I, say I, I that i think the main the main fight against it is just that because these cats that never hit the street 
you know what I mean, are probably in these galleries. I you know what I mean? That, that, that I might be that. a bit because uh, I just don't want to be that generation where, like, that generation gap, like, oh, the old cats are hating. It's not that they're hating, dog. It's just that you ain't really hit nothing. You took that picture in the back in your backyard, dog. Like, it's a different era, you know what I mean? And, and people are blowing up from that. And I just, exactly. we have to let the youngsters know that that's what the misconception is because, you know, art is art you know what i mean and and yeah it is but graffiti art is something totally different like it's these true. cats are risking their freedom dog and like yeah. to hit a train they're never gonna get paid for like they don't even like they'll never own that fucking train like what graph writer you know is like yeah check out i got this train in my backyard that we're gonna paint and make it look <laughs> real beautiful like that's just not even for them dog it's like true. that's just floating the fuck away dog you know what i mean you're right you know it's funny because everybody always talks about the street artist versus the graffiti artist. It's funny because to me it's like street art is a, it's more so, it's a, it's a trend that's cracking right now. You know, it's yeah. like it's big right now, but it's just a trend. Art goes in trends. You know, yeah. there's lots of different phases that go on in the art world. And right now street art is big. People are getting their fame. To me, graffiti art is focused on the letters. It's all about letters, wild style lettering. It's about the letter, dog, you know? And uh, to me, it's funny because I do a lot of history search. You know, I, I, I like to look back at the old school New York days, subway trains and stuff. And I read back in those days when they were doing, uh, when the gallery started calling, when the yeah. European gallery started calling, a lot of those graffiti artists thought that they had to do characters on these canvases. And they would start they, they would start painting their canvas and they would do these pretty pictures of the scenery and the characters. And the, the European artists, the art collectors like, no, we want you to do your name, man. We want you to do those <laughs> letters, you know, that we see yeah. on the trains. You know, so it's funny because it kind of went backwards. You know, yeah. back then they were stuck, they, they cared more about the letter schemes and the lettering styles, and that's what real graffiti is about. And then you got your character artists, you know, and the street artists are big on that. That's all yeah. they do is characters, right? So it's cool, man, because characters are more universal. You can relate to them. You know, they're people. They're humans. You can relate to eyes. Yeah. A lot of people draw on eyes. A lot of people draw on skulls. We can relate to that. We're human. You know, so uh, letters are a little bit foreign to us. Unless it's our style and we can't decipher that style, then we don't know if that what that says. Yeah. And so, therefore, it kind of leaves us out. And the regular person might be left out where the writers are like, we know what that is. Uh, you know, that's a yeah. sev piece. Hey, but 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 whatever, a, ri you know? a writer's never gonna buy your canvas. <laughs> right, it's true. That's right. <laughs> He's gonna be like, "That's the homie." But he'll, you, he'll gotta kick me down, the, dog, you gotta you know make the art world come to you. You can't go to the art Straight world. Up. You gotta stay true to yourself. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what I'm all about. You know, I be doing abstract art on my canvases only because I love colors and I love shapes. Yeah. You know? so <laughs> for for both of you, um. When you're doing, have you ever, or when you're doing a piece or something, does it, are there times where it comes out, it doesn't come out how you wanted it? Like how you pictured it? All the time. It never comes out the way I want it. Sometimes it comes out better. <laughs> yeah. You know? How about for you, Seb? <laughs> yeah, that's happened. And I've, what I've done is erased it and started over. Straight because, up shit? Because if I don't like, it's like when. What if other fools are right there, like, damn, that I shit looks fuck. This is my process. And, you know, like, dudes are caught up on clean and. Like, we did that in one stroke. I don't give a fuck, bro. It's the end <laughs> result. You know what I mean? It's You do what you do, and what it is in the end is how you got there is how you do it. You has know, the internet this, this helped technique. graph? Or has it fucked yeah. it up? <laughs> For traditional graffiti, no, it's fucked graph. Because traditional graffiti was not based on internet. Traditional graffiti was you had to get your fucking car or the bus or the, your bike or whatever it is you have to go look for the pieces took you risks word for word you know somebody said hey we did a piece over here we gotta go look for it nowadays graffiti is instantaneous it's right on the internet as soon as you're done as soon as you're done piecing you take a picture of that the motherfuckers on the internet it's going viral exactly let, um, let them know who we got in the spots. Go to town real quick, man. Introduce yourself again. Firo. Firo, UTI. Sev, West Coast, RHD. One. Yeah, man. You know, it's, it's How about for you, internet help? It's true. Um, both. It helps guys that are hard to get seen. But I think it hurts a lot if that's what cats new, new cats rely on. Because they're not really understanding the hardships that you go through. When you're doing something illegal and you're pulling it off and you you gotta buy or steal your paint when you're young. I mean now nowadays if you got any kind of talent and you got money and you can buy paint 
and you have a nice free wall to go up on, you can get fame. And there's a lot of people getting fame that aren't even good drawing artists. They want to be street artists that don't know a fucking thing about letter forms, like you say. And it's true, it's a letter form first, so you gotta respect that. But it's a completely different animal now, you know. It's even now, though, uh, what with with where you guys are, where do you guys you guys find yourself now? What what services can you offer? Custom logos, canvases. What do you guys have like? As we speak of now, I, you mean, know what I mean, I do logos and design for a living, and I, yeah, my canvas art and my personal art is different. It's Step not, out. it's not commercial, but you know, that's 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 pretty much what I want to do with my own time. It's like my own shit and explore it. You know, where and can they hit you up at? Give them the contact, man. Uh, for right now, it's just Facebook.com/slash Casa de Sev. And then how about for yourself, Hero? Um, question, back to the uh, question, I guess, uh, where my graffiti is now is I only take jobs that I'm in, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got a nine to five, I make pretty good money doing that. So if, if somebody approaches me with a job that I like and that I'm into it, I'm down to do it. Um, my fine art, I'm doing a lot of abstract art. I just did, uh, last year, one of my finest moments was probably at the El Segundo Museum of Art. I did an installation in the, uh, for the part of the scratch exhibit for the Getty Museum, and I was a part of the Getty book, so I was really nice. excited about that, you know. And Man, uh, if anybody missed that, kill yourselves, homie. That <laughs> shit was. It was awesome. Fun, yeah, it was dope. You know, so I, can I do it right here or yeah. go outside? <laughs> that shit, dog, I saw it, but I, I wasn't around. Oh I wasn't my in town. God, I missed it. I saw yeah. Pyro and some other cats from West Coast. And right, let me tell you my story that. about that real quick. So I'm chilling in the park, right, in chanclas, which are sandals and shorts. And a slingshot, right? Getting fucking just drunk, wasted, right? The homie Django calls me. He's like, hey, dude, you got to go see this fucking museum, dude. I'm like, it's a graph. It's fucking graph, dog. It's graph, right? So I hop in my car and my fucking sandals, chanclas, and a slingshot and shorts. And I drive out to this fucking place in, uh, what is that, Redondo Beach or whatever? Fucking El, El Segundo, Segundo, right? <laughs> I pull up, dog, and there's a fucking, like, 300 people outside in the front, dog, in suits and fucking all this shit, dog. And I walk in through there, and that shit was fucking amazing, dog. It's a huge event for the graffiti community. I mean, everybody yeah. that was involved was so Congratulations, excited. man, yeah, on that. Like, and everyone involved yeah. in that, man, like, the yeah. important to do that. It's really dope, man. I mean, graffiti's moving in the So I say you're done. You're going to retire now. You're going to you're gonna retire, right? You're done? You're going to retire. That's it. Uh, like, that's it uh, no, me. no, man. I'm, I'm coming out, man. I'm, so I'm, get barely, my own book I'm in barely the starting. Barely yeah. starting, dude. So. And, and shout out, man. We got DJ Yoda One, man. We fucked the whole time, man. Yoda he's working, one, he's yeah. working his ass off. We're over here just bullshitting, man. Zulu Nation, baby. What yeah. up? And what's up, man? Where do you know that cat from, man? Yoda? Oh, that's my old partner from Cosmic Four. What up, baby? Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Oh, the, yeah. the back in the day, you were hitting drums, right? Yes. yes. What's up? You ain't hitting the drums no more? Sure. What's up? Oh, I do, but I traded him in to get a uh, to put some uh, music on wax. It's your shit? Yeah. I had oh, to sell yeah. my drum set because I didn't have enough money to put a song on wax. So that's, that's how it goes. Nuts, <laughs> but you know what? You got your priorities. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. And graffiti's always been my priority. I love music. I do music. But my art, it's a little bit more, I don't know, me, I guess, you know? Soul Ciders in the place to be. I love y'all. Soulciders.com. Give them the contact for Dress you guys one last time. Facebook. Facebook.com slash Casa de Ser. How about free time? You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Furo153. Furo153. Thank you both for coming through, man, and sharing, you know, some hip hop with us, man. Peace, That's man. why we're here, just to archive Peace, OG, it, man. Peace, OG Husky Radio, y'all. Thanks for having us. You always us. do it for us, man. You already know. Stay DJ posted. DJ Bub. All right, peace.